Academy Award-winning director Roman Polanski's last film, Carnage, was an adaptation of a play. He's done the same thing again with Venus and Fur from the play by David Ives, which features only two characters in a single setting. Those two characters are played impeccably by Emmanuel Seigneur and the Diving Bell and the Butterfly and Quantum of Solace actor Mathieu Amaric. In a once grand theater, a director is wrapping up auditions for his new play. Or is he? Amaric plays Thomas, the director and self proclaimed adapter of the play called Venus and Fur, adapted from the novel by Leopold von Sacher Masik who inspired the term masochism. The film is fascinating in the way it begins to blur the lines between fantasy and reality as the two begin to act out the script. Though I have to admit, I left the theater not 100% certain of what the film was trying to say about female dominance or even its attitudes toward the original text. You seem to be a deus. Like Venus. But Venus can't rule only on a world of slaves. So I would be very well advised to find one. As is often the case, it's difficult to separate the art from the artist and think about the film's themes without considering Polanski's personal life, especially considering the fact that Signe is Polanski's real-life wife and Almaric resembles a young Polanski. Whether or not Polanski is trying to say something about himself, I leave up to you, the viewer, and you can let me know your thoughts after you've gone out to see it. Mm -hmm.